external wounds and internal wounds, uh, they must be, number one, treated. Number two, you would have to research treatment for an external or internal wound. Number three, you have to treat that wound. And number four, if all goes well, your self-treatment or professional treatment has worked and you can move forward from that loss. I get choked up over it because every time I think about those two little dogs I love so much, just makes my heart ache. Hey guys, hey, it's Brady the Gotti. Hey, today I wanna to discuss how internal wounds must be treated like external wounds. A wound is a wound. It hurts. A cut, a cut on your hand, your foot, it hurts. Somebody says something wrong to you, does you wrong, Mentally, it hurts. It hurts deep down in your heart. A loss hurts internally. Your wounds externally, if if they're not treated, they're going to uh, they're going to fester, get infected, and fester. Uh, they won't heal properly, and they're going to leave scars visible for everybody to see. These, these other wounds, emotional wounds, people don't see those, but they hurt. They hurt just as bad inside of your, yourself, deep in your heart, in your mind, and they stick with you. Just like the scars on the outside, they scar you inside also. So what do you do when you get a cut? What do you do if you break a bone? You go to a doctor, uh, you seek help and medical attention. Uh, if it's kind of minor, something you can take care of yourself, you may go on Google and Google, what do I do with this cut? How do I clean it? How do I put that bandage across it? How do I keep it from scarring? Uh, you may go to a professional, a medical clinic and have them treat the wound, stitch it up, take care of it. You work it at home and make sure that there's no scar, no visible scarring. But an internal wound, something completely, completely different. And we all have them. They end up being scarred baggage within our hearts and our minds. And we carry that forever. Unless you seek help for the damage and the scarring that's happened. So you may not be able to use Google uh, to fix all the scouring. You may have to seek very professionalized help uh, to get you from, from hurting so bad to feeling better, which, which really hits home for me. Um, I wanna tell you a little story about why external wounds that you can heal yourself and maybe keep from scarring so people don't see it, opposed to the internal wounds that people don't see and uh, that hurt so deep inside. And my story starts, <laughs> it really starts years ago, but led, led up to most recent, which, forever, I wanted to be in a place where I could have my own dog. And finally, my wife and I bought a house years ago, and we had the chance to finally have dogs, and we wanted dogs. And we got not just one dog, we got two dogs, we got three dogs. And for the past 15 years, we've had dogs. Well, what happened was this past October um, in 20, to date 
this video, which I hate to do, but in late 2018, in October, one of my dogs that I had for 12 and a half years as a puppy ended up getting really sick. And of course, we took it for medical treatment at the vet, and she just couldn't recover. And she ended up passing away. And I'm telling you, that loss broke my heart. It was killing me inside. It was eating me up. And to make matters worse, as I was being ate up inside by the loss of one of my best friends, a second dog that I had gotten, or we had gotten at the pound, we got her when she was 13 years old, a little miniature pincher. Uh, and three years later, this past October, 10 days after Autumn passed away, Layla had a stroke. Now, I was already upset and beside myself from the loss of one of my best friends. Then it was devastating that another one of my best friends had a stroke. It ended up that I gave her about five days. I was helping her around the house. I mean, it was really pathetic for her. She couldn't be the dog that she wanted to be. So I had to take her in and put her to sleep. So at the time, this is just, you know, six months ago, seven, I was besides myself with the grief of loss, the heartbreak. I mean, I totally was besides myself to the point that I stopped doing everything. And for a couple weeks, I just, I was just being ate up inside. I didn't know what to do. So I went on to Google and I searched pet loss, of course, uh, grief support and what I could do to start the healing process. And without getting into the whole drawn out uh, what you need to do, I did find that by writing, number one, about your experience, about the love you had for your pet, maybe about the love your pet had for you, uh, it started making me feel somewhat better emotionally. I was never a big proponent of letting my feelings out to other people, but I ended up joining some online support groups for grief relief, pet loss, and found that there are hundreds of thousands of people that were going through exactly the same thing. I, I mean, exactly. They would describe their feelings, and I'm thinking, that is me to a T. So I started describing my feelings. I started opening up and talking about my life experiences with my two best friends I had lost and sharing all this online through these groups. Fortunate thing about these groups is everybody's very supportive of pet owners who have lost a pet. A lot of people on the outside that don't have pets, that maybe don't like cats or dogs, uh, they just don't get it. They don't understand how deeply, emotionally, and even physically this will hurt you. And it's an internal wound, and it will, just as an external wound, eat you up. It will, gone unchecked, it will fester and foster within you and start scarring. And it'll start changing the way you think and interpret, and it will lead you to depression, anxieties, thoughts of heck, even possible suicide for some people. But it really, the emotional wounds will scar you so badly that it left unchecked, untreated, they can kill you. And believe me, with the research that I did online about pet loss, people loss, 
heartbreak syndrome in general, which is a very real thing. It not only internally, but physically can harm you to the point of death. So you have to seek some type of outlet, a treatment, something to begin, begin that healing process to move forward. So that's, that's a little story that to me is heartbreaking. I'm going over my notes here. Uh, I don't wanna leave this out, but that was my little story about my internal wound uh, that I am to this day still getting over. But what it did for me is not leave a scar, but it made me realize that, that something can hurt you that badly inside. It doesn't have to be a person and words, although that is an internal wound. Uh, it doesn't have to be an employer badgering you every day or bullying you or that bully to cause an internal wound. It can be any issue or situation that is causing you to have anxiety and depression. And you have to look for the way to correct this before it scars you so badly that it's detrimental. So with reference to this, you know, external scars or <laughs> external wounds and internal wounds uh, they must be, number one, treated. Number two, you would have to research treatment for an external or internal wound. Number three, you have to treat that wound. And number four, if all goes well, your self-treatment or professional treatment has worked and you can move forward from that loss, I get choked up over it because every time I think about those two little dogs I love so much, just makes my heart ache. But I also moved forward and I started my own pet loss support group. And now I talk about it freely with people within the group. Uh, I just don't get online usually and spew out about how upset I am over loss of a fur baby. Uh, because some people don't look at it as, you know, how could that hurt? It was only a pet. Let me tell you, it hurts. <clears throat> it hurts as bad and if not more than losing a parent or a sibling for many reasons. But th those reasons, uh, we have to veer off topic of what I'm really talking about, which is internal and external wounds, external and internal wounds. So anyway, uh, if you're watching me, you're probably uh, some type of entrepreneur. And this working on wounds, external and internal, works the same way in business. When you are starting off with your business, you have these grand visions. And somewhere between the start and you quitting, you've been wounded over and over again until you finally say, enough hurting, I'm done, and you quit. Well, if you take these same steps from treating an external wound, a cut, by researching, by treating, by making sure that there's no scarring and you take the same steps as you would for an internal wound in your business and you research and you find where to start, how to do it, you'll stay on that path and you won't have these, these things happen to you that beat you up internally to the point that you say, I can't do it anymore. And what I found was after doing my entrepreneur travels was that I was wounding myself daily and weekly by comparing myself to others, uh, by eventually telling myself I couldn't do it, 
by hearing the word no a thousand times, all these, all these feelings coming into my mind and playing the mind games and making me anxious and getting me depressed to the point that I just wanted to quit, uh, pushed me to find research in how to do this correctly. And I found that by adding value to people without an agenda and helping people in their journey, the same as an emotional wound, being a shoulder to lean on and helping people through their pain, that I found that if I provide value to people, if I can show them where they can get free training and maybe even make a couple dollars in between uh, and have a place for people to go where they can get this training and be there for them to show them how to use the training, it's making me just feel so much better. I found that place for myself. I'm using the steps that are working to ease my entrepreneurial pains. It's making the issues seem minute and I'm moving forward without the emotional scarring of feeling like a failure. So anyway, without rambling on forever, you have to treat an internal wound the same way as you treat an external wound. Going back to my notes, you have the wound, it must be treated. You research a treatment. You treat the wound with the treatment that you found. And if that treatment did not work, you then look for better treatment options or people that know even more that can help you with the problem and the treatment so that you don't have the external or internal wounds. Anyway, that's it. I got my heartbreak story off my chest and, and just by talking about it uh, brings back some great memories for, for me about my two little puppies and uh, I miss them and I love them and I love you guys and I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again real, real soon. So this is Brady the Gotti signing off for another day. I'll see you all again soon. Thank you.